Yo, man, what's shaking? Give y'all a little update what I'm doing, man. Sitting in the beach right now. I'm at a private community uh, waiting for the gate to open up. Um, let me show you guys. That's what I'm waiting on. The gate opens up at a certain time. You're not going to be able to get up in here. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Ah, but it is what it is, man. I got high clients, man, and they like their privacy. That's why I had been recording. Uh, you know, you don't want to be up in this type of subdivision recording, you know, because people think you're taking pictures of their houses and stuff like that. But I will be recording next week because I'll be back. And uh, I have to go out of town, but I'll be back. And uh, these type of subdivisions, man, respect your customers. They don't want to be seen. They don't want their houses to be seen. They don't want their property to be seen. Respect it. You know what I mean? So, um, I was talking to a guy the other day who called me. And, uh, huh, it was a pretty good conversation, you know, we was talking about investing money. And I got another YouTube page called uh, I Let You Have It. That's what I be talking about on that channel. You know, I try not to mix the channels up. I have about 18 subscribers right now on that channel, so it may be a little hard for you guys to find it. But I uh, I try to collect, uh, connect the link <clears throat> so you guys can find it easy. Because uh, I try to keep it business on this channel right here to help you guys out a lot. And my other channel is talking more about morals uh, what keep people down uh, I'll be out interviewing people I'll be interviewing my father <laughs> Watch out now My father been in business for himself 48 years He owns J and D Electric So I'll be interviewing my wife Very smart lady You know she's one of the big wigs that, uh, She's a manager of a Heart cardiologist And I be going out to the neighborhoods, interviewing successful people like us, you know, just trying to make it, but they got there and they'll tell you how they made it and what roles that you need to take to get there. It's amazing what people will tell you, man, if you approach them the right way. Uh, it's all about how you speak to them, uh, how you educate yourself. You must think a certain way in order to survive in business. I try to explain to people that. That's why I study psychology all the time. It's how you th how one thinks. You know, it's how one thinks. It'll get you where you need to go. Because if you think outside that box and stop being think what you taught, what you was taught back then, you'd be better off. Because what I thought I knew, I didn't know. So it's all about what are you willing to do? How are you willing to change? Are you willing to stay in the same position that you in? You know, I watch videos on YouTube, man, and some of these guys on YouTube, you know, they talk crazy and they're wondering why they're still in the same position that they're in. They're struggling. You know, but because of their mindset, they're going to continue to be who they are. So that's why I try to bring a different feed to you. And I tell you straight up, if you act a certain way, you get treated a certain way. If you act a certain way, people are going to ignore you. Then you're going to say, oh, this and that. No. Look in the mirror. You are the reason why they're ignoring you. There's no other reason but you. You are the reason you, you, your, your, your business can't grow because you refuse to educate yourself. You refuse it. You look at things in a certain way and you're just not going to do it. You refuse to change. So, hey, that's the word to me as insanity. Someone who keeps doing the same thing over and over and over and over again 
and keep getting the same result. Failure. That is insanity. So stop blaming other people for your problems. Look in the mirror. Change you. Educate yourself. Read. 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 If I can't tell you enough, read. Read what you want to know. Read the information that you seek. Go to the bookstore. Go to the used bookstore. My wife and I go to the used bookstore. If it ain't every week, it's every two weeks. Every Sunday or every other Sunday, we're in the bookstore. And I just don't buy one book. I buy seven, eight books at a time. And I spend what? Maybe $15, $25, $30. But that $30 of knowledge brings me six figures over a year because of what I know it ain't what you say is what you know so unless you know it you're just fooling yourself you're talking good you see some people rather give their money to someone else to invest for them well let me ask you this who cares about your money more, you or them? You can learn the same thing that they learned, but you refuse to. But here's the secret to that. If whatever you invest your money in crashes, that person's still going to get their dividends off of you. They're still going to get their commission, whether you make money or not. So you tell me, who's the smart one, you or him? Learn about your money. Learn where you can sit your money. Learn everything possible that you can learn about investing, running your business, psychology, and most of all, learn how to talk the lingo of business. All that cursing ain't necessary, man, because the real ball players don't want to be bothered with you. The name calling, real ball players, they're not going to be ball, uh, bothered with you. You're going to continue to be nickel and diamond. But then you want to point your finger. It's his fault. It's their fault. It's, their, it's society's fault. It's the man's fault. <laughs> Boy, star. No, it's your fault. It's your fault. You refuse to change. So, you know, with that being said, man, <clears throat> you know, my gold soap is still on sale. Um, uh, I, I had my man B&B &B, Mobile Detailing out of Memphis. I appreciate you, brother. Um, Franklin, I talked to him yesterday. Uh-oh, look, guys. It's opening. Oh! <laughs> All right, man, I got to go. The kingdom just opened. <laughs> Deuces.